In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, a little bit of maintenance to do with Adobe Captivate. Um, I, I have uh, Captivate open here, and uh, I just wanted to show you guys uh, something that I noticed. And I usually take care of this, but I haven't looked at it recently, so I'm just going to open up the course here. And this brings me to my documents library section. As you can see, there's lots of little Captivate chunks and things like that. Um, if you take a look here, Adobe Captivate Cache Projects, you see all of these folders. Uh, I'm not sure how much space this represents on my hard drive, but if I just hit properties, yeah, there's a good four gigabytes I could get back. Um, I'm just going to close this open window here and show you very quickly. This is going to be a short video. From time to time, you should do this with no Captivate project open. Click on the Edit drop down menu and run all the way down to Preferences, or alternatively, you can press Shift F8. And that will bring up the, the Preferences window. Just give it a moment here and uh, you'll notice that you've got some default locations and um, this is under general settings under category um, you know a couple things I like to do actually since we're here let's just take a quick moment and just check off generate project backups um, sometimes when Captivate goes a little wonky uh, you may lose your your file and of course if you don't have a project backup you can't get back to where you were at least your last save anyway um, I also like to make sure that custom workspaces and panel undocking is checked off as well so where is it going to publish at well you can choose that location by selecting the browse button in this case it's going to go to my documents folder in a folder called My Adobe Captivate Projects. Perfectly fine. Um, here is where the project cache is. You just saw it. Adobe Captivate Cached Projects. From time to time you should just go in and press this button here. And this will clear the caches of all the Captivate projects excluding those that are currently open. Of course there's none open right now so that's fine. And we'll just uh, click yes because we do wish to continue and this usually takes a moment or two there's really nothing that indicates uh, that uh, it's doing anything other than that suddenly your mouse gets really slow uh, just give it a moment there yep okay so it's done now so now now if you go and you find that same location we'll just click on OK and close this up here just wait for Captivate to catch up and we'll just uh, open and cache projects mostly empty couple of uh, pieces left over from something you could probably delete these again I don't have any Captivate uh, courses open right now that's sort of the key don't do this don't do what I'm about to do right now if you've got a Captivate project open because you are literally deleting the files associated with a Captivate course oh it's not letting me do it well, they're probably protected files. I can uh, get rid of them in other ways. But that's basically uh, the main purpose of what this video is all about. Just clear out your cache from time to time. Your hard drive will thank you for it. Guys, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.